This animation shows NASA's Cassini space probe passing by Saturn's moon Enceladus. Enceladus is of particular interest to scientists because it is geologically active and icy geysers erupt from its surface. In March, Cassini passed through these plumes and did so again on August 11th. NASA scientist Bob Mitchell. Last time when we flew by Enceladus, the focus was on the fields and particles instruments to detect just what the composition, particle density, particle distribution was. This time, the focus is on the optical instruments. Cassini flew within 50 kilometers of Enceladus, this time focusing on so-called tiger stripes or surface fractures where the eruptions occur. The mystery here is what is the mechanism that is creating these geysers? What is the environment underneath the surface that enables these geysers to be there? Is there liquid water or is it some other mechanism that wouldn't require liquid water in order to form the geysers? That's a question that very much excites the scientists because the whole issue of liquid water is very closely tied to the question of is this an environment that could support some form of life? John Spencer says the moon is one of the most dynamic places in the Saturn system. The big thing about it is that it's active, it's geologically active right this minute. It's got these uh, fractures that are spouting uh, water vapor and ice, uh, these enormous plumes coming out of the South Pole, which are unlike any, anything we've seen anywhere else in the solar system. In the March encounter, Cassini detected organic molecules in Enceladus's geysers. Scientists hope the recent observations and an even closer flyby in October will help answer even more questions about this mysterious moon. Paul Sisko, VOA News.